What's going on everybody? Josh Bullock here. And no, you did not read that title wrong. And this is not clickbait. Claude Dev is officially dead. I personally really like Claude Dev. I did many videos on Claude Dev. I know a lot of you guys liked Claude Dev, but it has officially been replaced by Kleinbot. What is Kleinbot? I'm going to give you the full rundown. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so like a lot of you know, I've personally done a lot of videos on Claude Dev on this channel, different videos on it, um, building cool tools with it, you know, trying out different updates. And I've really liked the tool. I've really liked the updates the founder has been, uh, you know, was bringing out and he was moving so quickly and developing so quickly. It was pretty crazy and innovative what we were seeing with some of the cool things. If you haven't checked out some of my Claude Dev videos, I'll leave them down below so you can see what some of the older updates were. But now, Claude Dev, like I said, is officially dead and a new AI coding pair programmer stands victorious. And that is KleinBot, okay? So, all right, so KleinBot is actually the new Claude Dev and they have been pretty impressive with their developments. Like I said before, even in the last video I did about Claude Dev, I was so impressed by the updates and the speed of improvement that I was even thinking in my head, this could potentially be a competitor to tools like Cursor. I also was thinking the only thing that I would personally suggest, and I didn't even say it in the video, but uh, someone mentioned in the comments too, was them changing the name from Claude Dev to something else. So the founder talks about this in the tweet that he, he posted right here with a two minute video. I'd recommend checking this out as well. But he basically says in the video that Claude Dev started out as, you know, working mainly with Claude Sonnet. And now it is number one on open router. And they've been getting a lot of different updates. Um, if you didn't see my past video on Claude Dev, you would see that they did some rapid development. Like last month they had version 1.7. Then they got 1.8 uh, three weeks ago. And then three weeks ago, like a few days after that, they got 1.90. And there were some really, really cool, um, you know, updates in here, like inspect site. And now we got version 2.0, which I'm going to be going over today. And one of the main updates is it's now called Klein. And I think that was a great decision. All right, so you'll see here, new name, meet Klein, an AI assistant that can use the CLI and editor. So that's where Klein comes from, CLI and editor. And then while Claude Dev was a tribute to Claude Sonnet 3.5, version 2.0 brings updates that significantly improve performance across other models making it a good opportunity to give the extension their its own identity. So I'm going to go over some of the updates here. So no more staring at loading spinners. Responses are now streamed in the editor, plus a yellow text decoration animation to keep track of Klein's progress as he edits files. Cancel button. So this is pretty cool as well. With the new streaming feature, you can now cancel mid-generation to give Klein feedback if he goes off in the wrong direction. And then 40% fewer requests to accomplish tasks plus better performance with other models. This update replaces the rigid tool use with a customized XML tag approach, allowing for more flexible tools, interactions, and significantly improving results for non-clawed models. Behind the scenes, older versions of the extension use an API feature called tool use, AKA function calling, where tools like read file and execute command were defined in a strict JSON schema sent with each request requiring models to respond with a structured output that had to fit into the schema. While some models like Claw 3.5 Sonnet are heavily fine-tuned to be good at this, other models like Llama and DeepSeek are not as adept, often leading to inability to complete even the most basic tasks. This not only limited the extension's accessibility with other models, but also diminished Claw 3.5 Sonnet's potential as forcing any model to respond in structured output has been proven to have negative qualitative effects. To eliminate these bottlenecks while still giving the model's ability to invoke tools, I took inspiration from this study, which is right here, achieving tool calling functionality in LLMs using only prompt engineering without fine tuning and this is a pretty interesting study as well if you want i'll leave a link down below so you can check this out showing how prompt engineering can enable stable tool calling fun capabilities plus anthropics prompt to achieve their artifacts feature all right so this was the leaked claude sonnet 3.5 full artifact system prompt right here so i would definitely recommend checking this out as well because this will give you a good sense and idea of, you know, how you can really get good at prompt engineering. And this was leaked a few months ago by Pony the Liberator. Uh, I'll leave the link to his 
um, system prompt leak right here, but you can go ahead and check this out. Like I said, this is good for you to study if you want to get really good at prompt engineering. So it uses tags like ant artifacts to create a completely reimagined system prompt where models are effectively fine tuned on the spot how to best interact with Klein's tool set. Instead of having a, to respond in a rigid JSON format, models can now invoke tools in unstructured text with XML tags like read file and execute command. Since we define the tool use guidelines ourselves, we can even tailor it with context like these tools are executed upon the user's approval instead of relying on generalized internal prompts like Anthropic uses to achieve tool calling for their API. To quantify the improvement these changes made, I ran a simple benchmark. I gave the following tasks at Next.js app, implement a dark mode toggle feature and save the user's preference to persist across sessions and measured the number of requests until the task was successfully completed. This was a practical scenario that tested the model's capabilities to use the appropriate tools to explore an existing project source code, apply edits and debug issues that came up along the way. So we can see here the tools API versus the XML tags. And you can see here, this is version 1.97 and it took a lot more requests and up here, you know, these ones failed on the open source models right here, but um, with the new XML tags, we're getting it done in uh, way fewer requests. So we saw a 40% reduction in number of requests required to accomplish the task, while other models like Llama and DeepSeek are now not able to call more reliably, but seem to have a greater capacity to reason about executing tasks successfully. While a native tool calling API was a core feature of earlier versions of the extension, it's became clear that it's limited the model's performance. The more flexibility the models have in generating responses, the better the outcomes. Although it's more work on the extensions part to parse the XML tool invocations, it is certainly worth the trouble. Okay, so you can also search and use any open router model. So this extension automatically fetches the latest model list plus pricing details, giving you access to the newest models as soon as they're available. Try searching free to find no cost options. All right, so we're gonna dive into the new client and just a second but before i do like i mentioned all the resources will be linked down below such as the cloud artifacts system prompt as well as two guys if you didn't know uh anthropic now releases their system prompts too so you can go here to this link in the description and you can see their current system prompts based on the date right here and this is like i said it's good information if you want to study the the system prompts here study the artifacts prompt and even read up this on this research paper. I personally am going to be doing all these myself to improve your prompt engineering capabilities. And this is very important just any time when it comes to coding, building things out, building agents, whatever the case may be, prompt engineering is key like we saw in uh, these tests as well as many different benchmarks. And it's been proven that XML is pretty much the most efficient way for uh, LLMs to you know understand things and it's the most efficient way to prompt them. All right, so if you don't already have the client extension installed, you can come here and install it, or you can just go open up VS Code and go to extensions and search client. All right, so one thing I have seen a few people say about uh, Claude Dev in the past is that it uses up a lot of tokens and their Anthropic API starts rate limiting. So now with the new XLM prompting, you should be using less API requests. So that should improve uh, rate limiting issues. All right, so here's a prompt I'm giving it. I want to build a Next.js task manager app with Shad CN components that looks beautiful and modern with light mode and dark mode toggle. I'm going to go ahead and click enter here. And we can see here that now it is using the streaming feature. All right, so before Klein did not have this. So we can see here Klein wants to execute this command. Also, so another huge thing I want to point out about Klein and one of the main reasons I'm doing a vid another video on it is because one, yes, these awesome updates. Like I said before, and like I said in my last video, I think Klein is definitely a tool you want to watch out for because i think it could have the potential to compete with tools like cursor and whatnot we're already seeing that it has certain features that cursor itself doesn't have but also too now you know klein has gone up this far with the founder not even being uh working on this project full-time and now you can see here that uh he wanted to share that he is now working on klein full-time and i'm excited to keep improving the extension and make it the best thing it can possibly be so i think we've seen some crazy improvements with him not even doing this full time now that he's going to be doing it full time i'm excited to see where he can take this all right so if you're not familiar with klein or claude dev before i really like how it shows the tokens in and out here I like how it shows the cash and the api cost all very transparent and a really cool thing is that it can literally run commands for you in the terminal which is something that cursor can't do yet all right so like we mentioned in the updates here if you go to api provider and click on open router you can click model here and you can search for any single open router 
model so we could use quen we could use um we could use deep seek we could use mistral we could use a um we could use llama that is uh, another really powerful thing with um klein is that we can use pretty much any model and this is something that cursor does not have you can't really use open uh, source models uh, with cursor all right so we got our next app installed now it's going to execute uh to install shad cn I also really like how it automatically picks up when the last command was run and now it is asking us to run that command and now we can see it wants to create this file when it's creating it so we could hit the cancel button if we want which is another new feature but i'm not going to do that and we can see it um this diff it's creating and uh, i really like this feature right here with the yellow highlighting to show what klein is actually doing we're going to go ahead and click save like, look at that. I think that definitely makes the UI and the dev experience a lot nicer. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment setters that work 24-7, never get tired, and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. So just creating like those five, six files right there, um, I can definitely notice a difference. I mean, it's not like a huge you know imp quality improvement it's more of a dev experience improvement right there when you have the cursor being highlighted uh, as Cla client is doing his work all right so now it's going to uh, ask us to run npm run dev so it literally took us to build the app from start to finish to actually uh actually deploying it well just running it in running it in development so let's go ahead and see how this actually looks okay so we got a 404 not found I'm going to say, please look at the site in your viewer to see the issue. All right. So if you don't know, Klein actually can inspect the site to actually screenshot it and then it can actually uh, iterate upon itself. So it's requesting to inspect the site at localhost 3000. I accepted the 404 error here. And now it's saying based on the expression, there's a 404 error trying to load the main page. This is just that the routing is not set up correctly since we're using the app router let's uh set this up correctly okay so maybe it, oh it was using oh okay so it wasn't using the next js 13 plus conventions of app router i think it was using, using page router um so that always make sure you're specifying when talking to llms that you're using um app router that also too could be because i i did notice when i was checking the settings here i was using i believe haiku not sonnet so not the most powerful model. All right, so two things I'll say is one, I really love how uh, Klein um, basically can read the logs within the terminal. So if there's problems like TypeScript errors or just missing imports, improper imports, whatever the case may be, it can iterate upon itself and fix that automatically. You don't have to copy and paste the logs in, um, which is really, really cool. I really like that because, um, you know, LLMs just in general aren't the greatest when it comes to type safety. Now, the one thing I don't like, but I don't mind, it's it's it can be pro or con depending on, you know, where, how you're, you know, coding. I wish there was an option to turn on um, basically so it works sort of like uh, Cursor Composer where it can create multiple files at once without having to click approve every single time. Because sometimes that can get really, really tedious if you're doing a lot of edits. All right, we're going to run NPM run dev now. All right, so here it is, very basic. Um, honestly, not that impressive to be quite honest. You could obviously iterate upon this and make it look a lot better, but uh, I've done that in many past videos, so you can check those out if you wanna see iterations with Claude Dev or Klein now. Other than that, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the Klein version 2.0. I think this is definitely something to keep your eye on in the AI coding space, especially now that the founder is going full time on this. And previously, when he was even part time, we were seeing rapid improvements, uh, rapid releases. So I think it's going to even accelerate more. But let me know in the comments down below, guys. Do you prefer Klein or do you prefer Cursor? And what do you think of the new Klein opposed to Claude Dev name? Me personally, I think it's a good thing. But let me know what your thoughts are down below. And let me know what your favorite AI coding tool is, whether it's Klein, Cursor, Continue.dev, or maybe even Pair AI. Who knows, right? So 
Other than that, guys, if you're new to the channel, we upload videos every single day on AI, AI coding, business, marketing, sales, a bunch of different stuff. So if you're new to the channel and you like that type of content, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads. Also too, guys, if you haven't already joined stridecommunity.com, our free Discord channel and free Facebook group, link to that will be in the description down below. And then also too, guys, if you run a business and you need appointments booked in your calendar, maybe you have appointment setters or maybe you have call center, whatever the case may be, and you're you know sitting on a bunch of leads, you need them booked, and you don't wanna pay thousands of dollars a month to appointment setters that may not be that quality or may be lazy, then check out strideagents.com. I'll leave a link down below. AI voice, text, email, social appointment setters that will book appointments on autopilot into your calendar 24 seven while you sleep. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.